Our topic today is overfeed but undernourished. This is part one. And uh, in Second Kings 7 9, then they said to one another, We do not do well. This day is a day of good tidings, and we hold our peace. If we tarry till the morning light, some mischief will come upon us. Now therefore come that we may go and tell the king's household. Second Kings 7 9. This is a day when uh, the children leapers who have been looking for food have come up to the um, place or the tents of their enemy camps and uh, they were able to see that the place was deserted and so many food much uh, even the things of the Syrian soldiers were left behind because uh, there was what you call uh, was, uh, God's intervention on behalf of the people of Israel so when this happened uh, they because of their of their fear they deserted the place and uh, uh, without uh, bringing things that uh, belong to them so when this um, lepers come to that place to beg for food because of the famine that is going on uh, they were able to discover that there was no one no one was in their comps so they eat anything that they can see and uh, get the spoil that they can uh, get but then they thought that why are we doing this why not tell the king that there's plenty of food here so what they did is that the best thing that they did so one reason so many are hungry among us because is because we don't have food to go around for everybody the exploding billions of earth's population aggravates a problem of uh, critical food situation estimated about 300 million people have only two-thirds of their minimal protein needs so uh, it is uh, ironic to note that the population explosion is greatest in the developing countries in the third world Africa Latin America the segment of the world can at least afford increase in a number of mouths to feed because of the fact that food supply are uh, finite finite and population increases are potentially infinite dr boise day a plant pathologist of the university of california at the riverside state that opines that by the turn of the third millennium a large portion of the world will be confronted by severe periodic uh, famine while the u.s lives in temporary plenty so poverty is not only the cost of under nourishment or undernutrition economic affluence is by no means guarantee that once nutritional needs will be met adequately adequately strains us it may seem most americans today are overfed but undernourished how it is the because of the imbalance of food production and maldistribution of food supply it is often said that one half of the world population goes to bed on hungry stomach while the other half suffers from indigestion due to over overeating so the rich must live more simply so that the poor may live i mean simply live teenagers in particular are among the most undernourished segment of population although they have much money to buy uh, food which uh, should be in their stomach they buy uh, mostly uh, junk foods like potato chip, pizza, uh, chocolate cakes, banana splits, and many others. French fries, hamburgers, soda pops. So very often they miss their morning meal because they think that breakfast is only for the birds. So most of them are overfed but 
undernourished because of the food that they have been eating okay they are most of them eat junk foods not the healthy food that's supposed to be uh, taken with them so i think uh i hope that they will be challenged by this and uh i pray that uh you have to watch your diet and you have to watch your uh, what, whatever is put in your mouth see to it that they are foods that could nourish our body not the foods that call that can destroy the vital organs of our body thank you for watching and god bless